the Trans Niger pipeline has a right of way along the Ibubu New Road area of Ilimi that stretches far into the distance to Boni. An illegal activity here makes it a crime scene, prompting the action to cordon it off after the arrest of seven suspected oil thieves on October 7. Pipeline that flows from here down to Bali. That's the illegal tap point that was used to siphon crude into the trucks that were caught in this facility here. So there was a connection here to this bush path into that uh, facility you're seeing there. That was where we intercepted two trucks that were illegally loading. The theft was discovered through intelligence gathered by the surveillance personnel of Pipeline Infrastructure Nigeria Limited. We were caught by the surveillance team of the Pipeline Infrastructure that there was an illicit activities going on around and inside the premises of Igu Company. Before we got to this place, we saw Nigeria Army already they have arrested the two trucks loading the crude oil from this point to the company. They immediately got here. They handed over the, source, the seven suspects being arrested doing the illicit activities inside the company to us. Being our core mandate, we have to take charge through command to national headquarters for further investigation. Just a few meters away is a logistics company. We walked into the premises and to a particular spot where an unusual activity had taken place on the wall. A hole large enough for a hose to run through had been bored in the wall. A certain crop of persons did not only think of sabotaging government assets, but you can see how organized and strategic the sabotage actually was. They got this line with an IC, and then run it into an organized system, a company, a logistics company, where you would assume legitimate business is ongoing. So you can see the level at which these guys think. If you don't understand the antics and ethics of surveillance, then trust me, this will be going on for years and you wouldn't know. Pipeline Infrastructure Nigeria Limited has recorded a major success in the fight against oil theft, but the company is not resting on its laurels, even as it reads the riot act to perpetrators of sundry crimes. If you vandalize the pipeline, there's a penalty for it. We are sending a clear message to everyone. Stay clear from the pipeline. With the arrest of these seven persons, the message you are sending out there is anybody that does any infraction or does anything to the pipeline we are protecting is going to face the full wrath of the law. The era of pipeline vandalism is gone and gone forever. Our target is a 100% terminal receipt. If we inject a 100, we want to get a 100. If Nigeria must meet its OPEC quota of 1.5 million barrels of daily oil production, then such critical national asset must be given a 24-hour surveillance and security. And that is what Pipeline Infrastructure Nigeria Limited has demonstrated with the arrest of seven alleged oil thieves on the 7th of October, even as the company works towards helping the country achieve an increase in oil production for economic stability. From Eteo, LMA local government area of River State, Ovietime George, Arise News.